Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. This is Angela from sunny South Florida, and we, today we are going to do my sister swap together. I thought that would be fun, and I won't post this video till after she gets it. So, what I'm doing is in my Facebook group, right now I'm running a sister swap. So we have the same swap partner for three months at a time. And this is the finale swap. So I want it to be extra special. So I went out and I picked one of my... I went out. I shopped my room and I picked one of my vintage uh, botanical pages that I got from Triple V Vintage on Etsy. I'm going to use the vintage book page and also this fabric I got from Triple V Vintage. It came like this. So the fabric is going to go on the spines. So we're going to have six pieces of fabric because we have three areas where we need to enforce it. So let me get my fabric tag going here. So how is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. And don't ask me what book this came from because like I said, I bought a package from Triple V Vintage that had a bunch of book pages like this in it. I don't know if she still has some or not. You can always check her store for sure because she does update it quite often with what she carries. So this book page measures about 10 and a half inches long by about eight inches tall. So an eight and a half by 11 would work fine. You could just put two together. Or if you have a similar size page, you could use that. So I'm just gonna glue around where that crease is, where I'm gonna put the fabric. I'm just going to lay my fabric down as close to even as I can. Then we'll move on to the next one. So, I am Angela, and I am from Pompano Beach, Florida, born and raised. Um, I did spend a little bit of my childhood in New Jersey and North Carolina, but not too much. So I say I am Florida born and raised, and I love my state. And I put this one on. I didn't realize there was a right and wrong way, so I put it on upside down. <laughs> I thought the flowers went in all different directions, so let's take that off real quick and replace that okay okay let's do the next one well the glue is just eager to get out of the bottle isn't it Ah, oh, Fabri-Tac, we love you, but we hate you at the same time. All right, hurry up and put the lid on it before it has an avalanche. All right, now we got to do the other side. <clears throat> Let's make sure we have it right side up, which we do. Put it down. All right, then we're going to flip it over and do the other side. We got one in here, one in here. And one down here. Okay. Then we're gonna put some pockets on. We're gonna decorate it up a little bit, make it all pretty, fill some pockets. What else did I want to do? 
Oh yeah, and it's going to have a journal inside. So we're going to have to sew in the journal and decorate that up a little bit. So this should be fun. So I got the inspiration for this project from the Paper Outpost. I forget what her name is. It's been a while since I watched the video. Pam, I think. Yeah, Pam from the Paper Outpost. That's right. I watched a video of hers where she had did the same thing with connecting book pages to make a three panel like stationary kind of thing, which is what this is going to end up being because we're going to put some stationery in it for my sister to keep in touch with me while we move on to other swap partners. So that's like the main goal here with this swap is to keep in touch because we have to include like a little letter to our sister and um, some stamps for them, some envelopes and some stationery. think I did quite a good job cutting this fabric even because it went on there quite nicely okay so how are we gonna fold this is the question I want this panel to be my front Oops, sorry I didn't mean to hit you with the paper it's just so long it's kind of awkward so I think I'm gonna fold that in and then I'm going to fold it again. And then I'm going to fold this forward. So then our journal will go where? We got strings. Okay. All right. Now, what I did with the corner was I took my crop a dial. This one does scallop and stud. And I did the scallop here. So I've already done that. So I did it there, and then I did it on here, on this end page. That's all I want it done on. So that we are done with. <clears throat> so now we need to decorate. So this is going to be our cover. So, I'm not sure... What I want to do with the cover here, I think I'm going to put a label. So I need to like die cut a label. So I'm going to die cut a label. Let me get my little scissors out. these labels and we're going to need our cutting pads all right so this is the little Sizzix sidekick and I love it to do little quick things like this so I don't have to dig out my big 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 boy 
physics, the big shot. All right, what size do we want? <clears throat> I think I'm going to do the biggest one of this one. And I'm going to do it on this paper. And I want that rose. Or this rose. We'll do this right here. Perfect piece of paper for this. through it kind of walks because I can't get it to why isn't it going through folks oh because I'm doing it the wrong way well that explains it well was I or wasn't I there it goes. Okay. Alright. So now we should have a pretty die cut label, which we do. And I think I'm going to put that down there. And I'm going to write a name on it. I think. Or, you know what I might do? Is print it. Do it in like a pretty font and print that out later on my uh, printer. What am I talking about? I don't even know. What is this? It's like some stitching. That would look pretty on there. Let's do it. What do we want this? This came off of an Avesta Delight 49 Market Art Topia Avesta Delight. And it had on the sail strip, it had this stitching. And I think that would look pretty going down there. So let me mark that real quick. Give that a snip with the old scissors. I'm gonna put that going right down there. I think I'm gonna ink it though, because I kind of want it to stand out a little bit. So a little bit about my Facebook group, in case you all are wondering, it is mainly a swap group, but I do allow self-promotion as long as you participate in swaps and with the group, you know, comment on people's things and maybe do a swap every now and then, not just come on every day to post your new video. That's kind of rude because um, you expect people to watch your video, but yet you're not commenting on what they're doing. And I, I just, I think that's kind of rude. So I don't allow that. If I see you're coming on and just posting your video every day, I'll delete it. Um, but you're welcome to come on and interact with the group and post. I don't mind that at all. I encourage that. I want that. That's what makes my group so lovely is that I have that. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we've got that. Then we're going to have this label going across there like so.
Okay, got a little glue right there. Where's my eraser? These things are so handy, you guys. I got this at Dollar Tree, and it's a adhesive eraser. So if you get glue on your project, you just take this and rub it on a little bit. And it takes it off with a little elbow grease. Oh, I smeared it big time over here. Well, that might be something else. Because that's not coming off. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This glue is a Bostic adhesive. I got it at Dollar Tree and I looked it up and it's actually a very expensive glue. It comes with two sides, a fine point and a wider side, like that, kind of like the Tombow glue. So I really like it. It actually glues really fast. As you can tell, this label is already glued on. This um, is glued down pretty well on the fabric as well. I didn't even know it glued fabric. Oh, it does. It does say for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric. So, there you go. I could have glued the fabric down with it. I didn't even know it. I used fabric hat. Okay. All right. So we got our cover. I don't know if I'm gonna handwrite her name or if I'm gonna. Or if I'm gonna type it. But her name's going to go right there, one way or another. <clears throat> okay. You open it up, you have this beautiful purple flower. So let's see. I have some scraps pulled out here um, that I wanted to use for decorating. So let's see what we have that would look good with that. I have this pocket. have these wood ones that's pretty do one of the wood ones Could put it like that put it up in the corner or down I need to uh, do the corner with the scallop is the problem because it's not lining up. So where were we going to do this one right here? Now, when we put it on there, it'll line up. Love it. Okay. So we got that. So let's glue that down. Yeah, so I went through my scraps. These are scraps. And I thought, let me use some scraps. And this doesn't clog up like our glitter glue does either. I have our glitter glue. I have barely art glue. I have you ooh. I have <laughs> fabric. <laughs> I have them all, you guys. They all work great. They all do the same thing. I don't know why I have to buy them all. Okay. Got that. I was thinking maybe we can make this a tag or something. I don't know. But I did want to put something on the pocket, too. So... Is there a glare on there? I can't tell. I guess it's okay. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this Sizzix Sidekick. 
All right, let's see what we got now. Okay, we got that pocket, and we need something here. So you open it up, you see that, and then you see this. We've got a caterpillar. Not very exciting. All right, what do we want to do here? I say we do a pocket going across there, maybe. Or do we do... I don't want it on the same side. So, how would a pocket, like... We could do something like that, cover up that caterpillar completely, put another one. <laughs> there was a pocket in here that I did. Where is it? Here it is. This butterfly one. It's not very big. This way we don't cover up the caterpillar. I'm recording. That was my granddaughter. She wants to tell me something. She just got home from a track meet a little bit ago. And I'm a little bit upset with her because she didn't call to let us know where she was. Okay, so we're going to put this pocket here like this so we don't cover up the caterpillar. But I think that that is a very nice pocket. I was going to say, I just said it doesn't clog up and it's clogged up, but it's not. This is going to go on here, on the bottom, like so. And I did glue on this fabric again, so hopefully it does stick. So far so good on this, so I think we're alright. Seems to be stuck pretty good. so. All right, so then we open it up, and we have this. So, because these are all on the same, like, page level, those are two. I wonder how many more of these wood pockets do I have? Three. Three. And then I have these corner pockets here. This. Up this, this. I really want to use this. But I don't want it on the same side. I wish I had cut it like that. And this one goes the same way too. It goes this way. I guess that could be like Huh. Ooh, that would look pretty there. We could do like a side tuck kind of thing. I don't know. I want it sideways. We have this pocket that goes this way. Let's do that. Because that brings in the pocket we did here. And then we'll put a pocket like that on that side. Let me make it easier. Again, we're going on the fabric with this glue. So far, it's sticking pretty good. So I think we'll be all right. And we have this panel here. What do we want to do for this panel? 
I think we could go the other way. Where's our woods woods? Okay, let's see what we got. We got this one. That's cute. This one. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's kind of upside down. I think we'll do that one there. So I want that one there. This one. I can't decide. I really like that one. I think because I like the peak, but I do like that the springs in the wood and the peak. So I'm going to go this one. I'm going to go this one. Uh, help me make my mind up. Bring in the wood with the pea. Kind of blend it. You know. Cohesive. Makes it look like it belongs. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. As they say. I have to make this in two parts. Okay. So now we have these two pages. So we got that. And that. And then we're going to need something for the back. I think the back would look nice with like this pocket. And they're only covering up one flower and a little bit of leaves. That pocket or this pocket? I like the two birds. Let's just do it. Now, do I leave it a tuck and not glue that side, or do I glue that side and make it a pocket? Uh, I'm going to leave it a tuck because then I can fit something bigger inside of it. Okay, now we just need these two. I say, I have this little piece here. I could do a belly band. It's like the perfect width. And then we have this other pocket here. So I say, I do this. I don't like that though because this pocket's bigger. I'd have to shrink this pocket. Which I am not. Afraid to do. Cut along that line there. <clears throat> Now they line up. I like that much better. And then we'll do the belly band over here. Yes? Yes. Alright. Let's get this glued down. And then our belly band glued down. And then we'll call this video part one. And we'll come back with part two. And do the remaining decorating. And. tags, 
stationery and all that. This may be three parts. Now that I think about it, it's a lot to be done. All right, let's get this uh, belly band glued down. There we go, we got all our pockets on. We've got our cover done. Maybe I'll get that done before I come back on. And then we're gonna come back on and do our our uh, tags, some more decorating. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> 